Um, we have other campus partners such as the uh, campus police that also comes out and talks to them about safety on campus, um, about ways, different ways to get involved. Uh, so we do have um, representation from Student Life and Leadership, from the Women's Center. Uh, so lots of great things. Um, so this is a time where they're really getting like, okay, you know, this is business now. Let me, let me know what's going on. Um, so usually during the first few days of orientation, especially since all of you are new, we will ask that you sit through every single presentation that way you are aware of what is being said to our first years. Uh, because if they come back, come to you and ask you questions, you want to make sure that you are prepared. Uh, so just keep that in mind and we'll revisit that. Um, so we're only going to briefly go over the student schedule today. So um, next, if Nikki, you want to come up and talk about um, the next part of the day. Uh, so the next part is the degree, um, the degree requirements, and um, that's Heather's part. That's the part where you're, um, she's going to briefly run them through the catalog. Um, she's going to tell them about the general education, um, those bronze pages or green pages, whatever color they are that year. Um, inside the catalog, they're going to get a brief overview of the catalog, um, and then Rayanne is also going to talk about the wait list. So. Um, She's going to tell you, tell those students how the waitlist works. Um, offer advice to tell, to enroll in classes and not just waitlist for classes. Make sure that they enroll in the classes they need. Um, I think that's it about that part. Great. Yeah. Just like to add. So this is where they're also going over their personalized folder. Um, so their their map, their reevaluation, all of that. Really learning how to use those tools uh, so they can, you know. You know, make sure that they know how to uh, schedule classes each, each semester. Um, yeah. Did you? Okay. Uh, I'll I'll go over lunch and information fair. Um, my favorite. Okay, before you move on. Uh -huh. uh, so Rayanne is our registration demonstration. Or is our registrar. <laughs> She's not our registrar. She does a registration right, demonstration. Uh, so she, you know, and the day as you see it builds on each other, and we'll go through more sessions. So. Uh, just wanted to add that. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, lunch and information fair, you know, this is a student's break time, and they've already received a lot of information. Some of them are feeling overwhelmed. Um, so, what they tend to do is run to mom and dad uh, during lunch, um, meaning they reunite with them, and uh, they kind of just talk about what's been going on. Parents at this time have also uh, got the degree evaluation presentation, so they know about general education and all that good stuff. Um, so, they really just talk about it. You as an ambassador, your role during this time is to really go out there and mingle with these students. You know, just walk around and say, hey, how's everything going? Like, do you have any questions? And that question can be directed to the student or to the parent. But your goal is to be out there mingling. Because um, if you're, you know, just standing there, it won't be so fun. Um, so you want to make sure that you're doing that, encouraging them to go visit some of the departments at the information fair. Um, so we have about 30 plus departments out there. They're giving their time to be there and, uh, you know, just be there presenting their information about what they have to offer. So anything from athletics to student, uh, student life to asset shops and getting jobs, testing, all good stuff. So you want to make sure that you know where everything is. So if there's a question that comes up about, about the test, for example, you know, you'll be like, oh, you know, testing is actually here today. You know, I can walk you over and you, know, you can ask your question there, and et cetera. Um, so you want to make sure that you want to be doing it. This is your time to mingle, uh, really make that impact uh, during this time. And you do get to eat lunch. Um, so this is also the opportunity for you all to, to grab lunch. And usually, um, we'll let, obviously, all the students and parents go ahead and get their lunch. And it's usually you, Nisa, or myself, who kind of let you all, all right, y'all are good to get lunch. Um, so you get to enjoy the, the lunch that is provided to our um, orientation participants. And then if Natalie wants to come up, and she'll talk more about, uh, briefly about catalog presentations in your small groups. Yeah. Okay. So um, this is your training. Not only, um, you're not only training for the academic advising part, you're also learning how to do the small group presentation. So um, for those of you who remember at orientation, that's when you're like split off based on your major, <coughs> and you're with a single ambassador who gives you that presentation. So it's like a kind of a more like intimate setting, you know, like you only have usually like 10 or 15 people per group. 
Um, and then the ambassador, it's based off of three things. You show them um, the folder that has uh, different like handouts, and a lot of it you'll notice is very similar to the tour script because you're talking about different facilities and programs on school. Um, and then after that, you show them the handbook that has like a campus map and other programs within it. And then um, the majority of the presentation is based off the catalogs. So um, your catalog will be all tabbed. We'll have a tabbing party. I'll talk more about that later, where we um, <laughs> we get together and like tab our catalogs and highlight and everything. Um, and based off of that, you give them presentation, show them how to use the catalog, show them all the important pages that they might need. Um, and then that's basically it. You also, before all that, do an introduction. You get to know everyone. Um, so you'll kind of notice that during this time that you might get a lot of questions because it is, um, you know, after a full day of uh, orientation where there's a lot of people, now it's a smaller setting. So you should be prepared to, like, get asked questions. Um, but it's, like at uni said, it's my favorite part of the day um, because people are really, like, open to you. And it's kind of where they start to feel more comfortable. session with assistant dean, the faculty advisor, and I'll let Abby talk more about that. Okay, so right after we come back from our small group, you know, when we break off with the small group, we come back to um, the room where we are, and you will get a presentation from your assistant dean of that college, and some faculty advisors, um, sometimes there's, you know, other um, people come in there, just like our student services coordinator for, like, engineering, for example. They come in, they kind of give you an overview um, about resources that they have to provide for you. So what the assistant dean is, what they do for you. Um, the, our student services coordinator just provides what role he plays. So you get you know, a lot of representatives from that certain college, which is good um, people that, people that um, it would be good to know for that college. Um, and sometimes you get some other presentations from you know, visitors that stop by. Um, and then sometimes they do go over a little key points that you've heard throughout the day. So in that part, you will hear things that you've heard before throughout the day. So it's just a good repetition. I would like also like to add um, that advisors will come at this time. So this will also be a time when you will be uh, walking around the classroom or wherever it is that you are and helping the student plan for their fall semester before they go to the computer lab which leads us to an answer. Right, and then, just to add a little bit, you can come up. Uh, you know, each college is different. Uh, you know, the lead ambassadors and ambassadors will know that each assistant dean really kind of tailors that session to how they want it to go. Uh, so it's really important that uh, if you are working, you know, business one day, and then the next day you're working sciences, that you check in with the lead ambassador, and Julie will talk about what that role is, uh, because assistant deans, you know, they do, they kind of do their own thing, and they want to do um, how they seem best for their college, because they have different needs, ba maybe based on the majors that are in the college or, or, or whatnot. So I just wanted to add that too. Yeah. So the last thing we we're going to talk about, or I shouldn't say the last thing, but the last part of your guys' day for the most part is going to computer labs and registration, unless you got pulled out for campus tours. Um, so once we're there, it's just we're just walking around. It'll be us as ambassadors as well as academic advisors in there. Um, and we're just going to be walking around helping the students register for courses, assisting them if they have any questions or if anything comes up. There's a lot of common issues that come up while we're in there. Um, one of them is, you guys remember how anxious you guys were when you had to register, right? That At the end of the day, after that long day. Well, a lot of people, it actually ends up making them almost freeze up. And sometimes they just need a little nudge to help them get started, or maybe they just need to walk you through the process with you. On top of that, um, remember prerequisites are everything when it comes to registration. Um, I highly recommend when it comes to a lot of common courses that have a lot of prerequisites, such as like Chem 200, Math 150, memorize those prerequisites instead of having to constantly look them up in the catalog. They'll make it go a lot faster. Um, finally, uh, remember, it's I know it's easy for us now, but Navigating web portal for your first time is kind of tricky. So, you know, they might have just simple questions like, hey, how do I add a class? Or, hey, how do I even look up a class? Or what what these, what does this mean when it says WMWF uh, 12 o'clock and then there's another list right below it? So, you know, simple things like that are also part of what we do when we help them out.
Um, other thing I want to mention is that um, ambassadors do a really good job of keeping notes of what goes on throughout the day and bring it up Monday morning. If there's something useful that you see, like there's a new code on a special class or a new building or something, and uh, we all learn that it stands for this. You know, that's something to bring up so everyone's well aware. Um, it will be easier for everyone during the lab. And during the lab, you're not just helping your specific college. I mean, yes, you're probably going to be with those areas, but if you finish or you know, if you're near business, then you can like help them. And obviously, if you don't know something, you can direct it to an ambassador within the business of college. But um, you know, you're going to be roaming around, walking around, assisting students um, throughout the time that we're there. Um, and it's pretty fun. Some of you will spend about 10, 20 minutes. I know Julia spent a bunch of time one day with one student. Um, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, and, and you'll enjoy it, you know, so um, for the most part. Um, yeah, and, um, the, the goal of them to, to come to orientation is to register for classes, right? So um, that's one of our goals in our office is that every student leaves with a class schedule for the fall semester. Um, so obviously this is a really important uh, piece of, of the day. And um, students do pay, as you know, um, to come to orientation. So uh, this is also a transition for you all, uh, because during the year you are um, volunteers, you know, for the university. You provide service to us. Uh, but during the year or during the summer, you become employees. So uh, we also hold you to kind of those standards and expectations that uh, you're going to be following. What you know, our guidelines and what those are each day of orientation. Um, so I just wanted to kind of also throw that out there in terms of like um, thinking about that as well. Um, Julia, do you want to come on up and talk about the ambassador and what that role is? Okay. Okay, so um, as a lead ambassador, there's one for every college. There's also a parent lead ambassador and an undeclared lead ambassador. So I was undeclared this this past summer. Um, so what you are is you're basically the point person for that college. We do a lot of working with Frankie, Eunice, and Michelle, and they'll kind of direct you know, specific notes or problems or things you need to get done for that college to you. Um, and in a lot of ways, you're still you're the face of the college through the summer. Um, you do a lot of working with the assistant deans. Um, like they were saying, every assistant dean has their own way of running their session. So some might just want you there to pass out papers. My assistant dean included me into his presentation, so we had a whole, a whole thing. So that role can vary. But for, for all the assistant deans, you're really important because you're the one face that's there every single day, while otherwise you, you will work in all the different colleges and things like that. So they really appreciate having someone that knows the drill, knows what they need. Um, you know, you'll get emails from them saying, you know, hey, for tomorrow, can you have this ready? Or, or different things like that. Um, and then also they're saying of giving feedback. So you're kind of the one that will send a message saying, hey, you know, this, something's wrong with this room. Or, you know, my assistant doing this, or things like that. So you're very much part of just all the organization of that. Um, and you're key also for just the other ambassadors that will a lot of times direct questions to you, especially because you're switching colleges and stuff. So you know the everyday drill for, for your college. Yeah, and then, you know, the leadership team and the lead ambassadors are really, like, we see them as a whole leadership team um, for us during orientation. And we really rely on, on these positions because Eunice, myself, Michelle, Emily, we can't be out uh, with you as much as we would like uh, to see everything that's going on. Um, so we really rely on you all. If there's something like Eunice said, something went on in the computer lab or with an assistant dean, uh, to share that with your lead ambassadors and let them know, hey, this is what's going on. Um, so we kind of receive that summer each night. And Julia and a lot of the lead ambassadors uh, last uh, summer did a really great job. Uh, we're able to just kind of forward those those emails on to our campus partners, our colleagues, let them know what's going on. I, for example, one of the things that I think always comes up is, you know, classes are getting full, specific sections, and, um, you know, that's good for us to know because we're able to um, send that information, send that feedback, um, and typically we're able to get, um, you know, class sessions uh, open um, as well. So you all um, are really valuable in that um, and letting us know what's going on. Yeah, and this is a great leadership opportunity that begins this summer. So if that's something that you're interested in doing, we had rookies who were lead ambos this past summer. Um, and you're very capable, 
you just fresh off training and everything. So if that's something that interests you, want to learn more, like talk to Julia or other lead ambassadors, of course, us. Um, but we encourage you to you know, think about